and he's doing it to completely test our limits. <laughs> so, and I and I, I had I had the logic set up perfectly and how it could have worked. Like I I, I it, it seemed like the last two years of my life had been a, a joke, like uh, that that everyone was in on but me. <laughs> and wow. uh, yeah, yeah, it, it really and, seemed like, that way. Like different characters had been introduced into it over time, and they all seemed to line out just right. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was that drug logic where, where everything just kind of selectively works in. You forget yep. about the bigger picture for a while. <laughs> yep. Was there any constant drug use when you guys were out there? Like, were you guys blazing weed every day or any of that shit? Or was it just alcohol and, like, driving for grisly hours? Uh, let's see. Um, well, Billy's straight edge. A hundred percent? Yeah, uh, well, he'll drink. <laughs> That's about okay. it. He he won't do anything. He will not touch anything. weed. He won't touch, uh, you know, cigarettes. He won't touch uh, any of, uh, certainly not any of the other drugs. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Um, when we were with Kayla at first, it was, uh, it was a crack den at first with Kayla. Wow. Uh, yeah, like we were, uh, Dees could probably attest to, to something. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure how much he did because I was far gone on. But, um, but yeah, K Kayla had the gifts <laughs> for a while. And then, uh, there was a great bit in Texas where, uh, <laughs> me and, uh, Dinty at Orchids decided to get, uh, drugs from this shady fucking woman that they didn't even really know. She took us to this, <laughs> this house that looked abandoned out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. She went in. She went in. We just gave her some money. We didn't even know what she was going to give us. So she comes out. And, uh, and Dinty's like, you know, dude, uh, she's coming out with a pipe and she's wiping her mouth. I'm not going to suck it first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, she just went in there and blew a guy so she could get drunk. <laughs> like, uh, you go ahead and put your mouth on the pipe first, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, she comes back in. She comes back in. And uh, she's like, all right, guys, this is speed, okay? And we're like, okay. And uh, he's like, okay. He's like, Joe. So he hands me the pipe, and I'm, like, wiping it off <laughs> with my shirt. And I'm like, okay. And uh, I was like, so uh, what, what do you do? You, she goes, well, a hit will keep you up for a day. And he's like, okay, what if I do two hits? And she goes like, oh, it'll keep you up for two days. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I'm seeing a pattern, so four will be wow. up for two days. And you could tell this woman was just cracked out of her mind. So, so I was like, okay, you do it first. So she takes a hit of it. And uh, she's like, oh, man, it's awesome. So they pass it to me. And I take this huge fucking hit. And he's like, oh, little did we know D Joe was a pro at this and I had never done it turns out it was fucking meth and uh like uh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> 150 hits later we're in a bathroom not broadcasting but still doing an hour of power with his <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the tub oh my god <laughs> <laughs> sitting there and we're like <laughs> it's funny you should bring that up <laughs> and and it was just a back and forth that we were doing, okay, next segment. And then uh, we would do shot time, you know, all of his intermissions with, like, Billy yeah. Idol song. And uh, it was incredible. We were just kept going, and I was like, you know what? I, I can see why this meth thing is really taking off. And he's like, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah. He goes, you know what? And he stood up, and his pants were falling down. He's like, I think I methed off, like, 10 pounds. For, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, man. Uh, Oh like, right, that whip. Like the first time I sm the first time I sniffed meth, it was pretty savage. But the first time I really smoked it, like right. three days later, I was like, "Is this real anymore?" Did wait a second. When did this start? You just get so so. I don't know if it's the meth it or the lack so of sleep. Honestly. Right. Yeah. It was. Uh, we we well the hour of power was roughly ten hours. <laughs> and we started smoking like three hours before we got there so that was 13 hours right there now the night before 
Dinty took us on Dinty's death ride, as he called it. <laughs> and uh, again, we weren't on camera, but he puts us in the car and he acted like there was a spiritual demonic force that was steering the wheel. <laughs> so he kept jerking us on and off the road. <laughs> and uh, it was the funniest shit in the world. He's like, the spirits are co overcoming me. I can't take it. And then he would just roll off the side of the road. And we'd be like, we're not even on fucking camera. This is insane. <laughs> And at then, what uh, speed was he doing this? Oh, he would he was he was like going seventy five. It was a fucking God, yeah. yeah. That was a damn. Oh, I'm not kidding. Yeah. It was it was nuts. We're we're in El Paso. Just one big <laughs> shithole in El Paso. And uh he uh he takes us to this abandoned area where he claimed his uh school children were slaughtered by their teacher. And if you park in this certain area, the, the school children will actually push your car. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that on TV before. Right, right, right. So he took us to the site of that crash. So we're here. We're just sitting here waiting. There's no cameras on. Ditty takes us here. And uh, we we had done something. We, did, we didn't, didn't, didn't do the meth yet. I forget. Billy, uh, Billy might know. I don't remember because Billy didn't do anything. But uh, we were uh, sitting there and all of a sudden the car would move. And it would move, and he'd push it forward, and we could tell he was just putting it in another gear. <laughs> but he kept yeah. going with this fucking bit over and over and over again. And then uh, uh, Orchids and her sister, they claimed to be witches, that there, there, there was a witchcraft that ran in their family. So they started, like, doing these strange tongues, and Billy, like, cranked up, or uh, Dinty, like, cranked up the radio, and he was playing, uh, like, uh, death metal. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. So it was a very strange mood, and then uh, he turned it all off after, like, yelling, after, like, talking about all of the spirits that are, are overtaking us. He was like, hey, guys, we can get 7 a.m. margaritas at the a.m. p.m. over here, <laughs> or wherever it was. I forget what it was. But uh, we got... Uh, uh, right from this spot, he took us to an AM, PM, or uh, not an AM, PM. It was next to an APM, AM, PM. And he got a smoothie that was, uh, not a smoothie, an icy that was Jack Daniels. A Jack Daniels icy. It's 7 and in the morning? At 7 AM. <laughs> okay. And then, and then he bought us uh, margaritas. And uh, we were playing quarters while we were waiting. And Billy's like, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever done. We're waiting for 7 a.m. We were too early. We were at like, we got there at like 6.55 and we're like, yeah, we'll have some uh, booze. And she's like, oh, we don't serve for another five minutes. So we were sitting at the table playing quarters, just the four of us. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Two, three, five of us. Uh, Cody wasn't there, but it was five of us and we were just flipping quarters into a cup. And Billy went, this is the most pathetic thing anyone's ever done. Wait, here we are, we're playing quarters while we try to fight out and fight off the shakes for 7 a.m. margaritas. <laughs> and um, and uh, uh, that was the beginning of the day, basically. From there, Dinty took us to the drug den, and that's where uh, Billy, Billy was the sensible one, and he went back to the motel. Me, I went to the drug den, we got the meth, and then we started... Uh, in at that point and uh, my life changed because when we were in the we were in the <laughs> we were in the bathroom and pretty soon Dinty uh, little did I know he had was harboring a uh, a, uh, a resentment towards me for something that happened that I really can't talk about but right. it, it has to be a private thing and uh, he started doing an impression of me in front of me and it was the weirdest fucking thing because I'm so I'm, I was so dense at the time because I was doing you know meth, and and drinking like twenty shots that I just thought, boy, Dinty's really cool. He's cooler than I ever imagined. <laughs> and, and little did I know he was doing an impression of me. He was and it it was perfect. I don't know if it was the meth or if it was perfect. He was doing the the cadence, the speech, the the body language, everything. He was doing everything exactly like me. And uh, I started looking around, like, back and forth, like, what the fuck? Where am I? Where am I? And uh, then all of a sudden, it turned. He looked at Orchids, and he said, should we tell him? I said, what? What's going on? And they both look at me, and they're like, uh, we got to talk to you. And they shut the door behind me. Now, I'm fucked up beyond all men. I'm like, okay, well, this is it. They're going to kill me. This is, this is how it all ends. And uh, he said, uh, uh that uh, 
I, I oh, I wish I could tell you what he said because <laughs> it has to do with something I shouldn't have said in the first place. Right. It kind of comes full circle. Um, damn it. I set up this story and I can't even give you the main point. But it had was, like a, a strong, profound moment for a second. Yeah, it did. It did. It did. Because that's when I realized uh, the extent to which your actions, even on Battle Camp, carry yeah. over into real life. Oh, absolutely. He told me some, yeah, he told me something that has yeah, stuck. <coughs> uh, yes, Prefect. It was Joe Orchids is pregnant with your baby. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it definitely. Uh, it, uh, carried over and I, I haven't really been the same ever since then it really kind of shook me and uh, made me want to stop going on battle camp frequently because uh, because I was kind of you know you know yeah gun shy because of what he told me but uh, yeah gave them all big hugs before we left and that was that was dinty it was amazing does and, Dinty have uh, a lot of strange artwork and stuff up in his house because I just really picture him having collecting something weird Right. Uh, we didn't go to his house. He came okay. out to El Paso from Houston. Oh, okay, and, okay. Yeah, he lives a distance away then. Yeah. The message is meth is bad, says Ms. Rissa. That's And that's really the meth message. It was funny while we were smoking, and he's like, you know, I, I know somebody we could get this for like 250 a month. That's really cheap. That's second to only not having a meth addiction. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, so uh, Dinty collects doll heads. Dinty was bizarre. He he had uh, he always he was acting as if there was always something up his sleeve, and little did we know there was there was something up his sleeve the entire time, and he planned this whole thing out, this very elaborate scheme just to kind of shake me, and it worked. It really did. He broke me. Wow. Yeah. Well, damn. So we yeah. got Price on the line now. So Price.